Welcome gamers, Hazardor here, and today I'm going to answer the question, should you buy Halo Wars 2? Another addition to my series where I go over lots of different games and make a decision whether I'm going to buy them or not. Based on a beta, first impressions of the game, people who have played it, and stuff like trailers and insider information of the game. Now it's release date is February the 21st and it's on Xbox One and PC. Now just because it's got Halo in the name, it doesn't mean this is a Halo game at all. I'm pretty sure you guys all know us already, but people on the outside may not realise that this isn't a game that is sort of following the main Halo storyline. It's a spin-off, it's a real-time strategy game, and simply for that reason alone, it's only going to cater to certain people. For me personally, I don't really like RTS games, and that's why I'm most probably going to miss out on this title. Of course, RTS games are, are massively, massively popular on the PC specifically, but on the console market, they're not that really dominant whatsoever. And that's why I think Halo Wars 2 could fail quite drastically. On the Xbox One anyway, I'm sure on PC it'll have a lot of sales and stuff like this, but on the Xbox One, are the masses really going to be interested in this title? I'm not really sure. I'm not trying to shit on RTS games whatsoever. I mean, those sort of titles have been massively popular over the years, but for me personally, it's just not my cup of tea. I would recommend to everybody out there, don't buy this game just because you like the Halo series. Don't buy this because you've enjoyed Halo 5, enjoyed the Master Chief Collection, because this is a massively different game. If you want to try any game before buying Halo Wars 2, of course, buy Halo Wars the original one, that is of course, the game before this one, it's an RTS game as well, and it's a basically a spin-off from the Halo series as well. If you enjoy that, I'd recommend playing Halo Wars 2 and buying it, but if you haven't played that game, I think you will be going into Halo Wars 2 very very blind, especially if you haven't played the beta. So I think overall unless you really like RTS games, I wouldn't recommend Halo Wars 2. Not only that, this game isn't going to be one of the best RTS games ever I don't think at all either. There are plenty of better games on the market that are much cheaper than this, so if you like those sort of games, I'd just stick to your original ones. Wait for Halo Wars 2 reviews, because I think they could be kind of, not negative, but just sort of very average. And without a doubt, I don't think Halo Wars 2 is going to be a console seller. I mean, you look at the PlayStation 4 with Uncharted 4, they really pushed that in our faces. Like, you need to buy a PlayStation 4 to play this. You need to buy it. You need to buy it. With Halo Wars 2, it's not like this at all. And if you don't own an Xbox One, and you're thinking about getting one for the Halo Wars series, I wouldn't recommend doing it whatsoever. It's not going to be the sort of game that's going to blow your mind in every single way. The first Halo Wars game, as I mentioned, is something you should pick up if you haven't played it yet and you're thinking about getting Halo Wars 2, but that game did get kind of positive reviews. I'd say like overall, the reviews balanced out at like an 8 out of 10, so it was a good game, no doubt about it, but again, it only caters to specific people who like these sort of games. And I think the RTS genre in general is kind of like the JRPGs where of course they're nothing similar at all, but in terms of that people who really love these games absolutely fall in love with them, but for some people on the outside they're quite difficult to get into because they're so different from everything else on the market. So basically in this game what do you do? You have an aerial view of the map, it's sort of like, well it is a strategy game, you build your base, you build vehicles, you get your troops organised and you go into battle. You plan out your attack very strategically and try and get the win. The game also has multiplayer, it's going to go up to 3v3 mode, so that's a good addition to the game. Now overall, as a verdict, to answer the question, should you buy Halo Wars 2, I'm definitely not going to be picking the game up. That's not because I think the game's going to be poor, or anything like that, I'm just simply not a massive fan of the RTS series, and I'm not a hardcore Halo fan either. So unless you really enjoyed the first Halo Wars, or just really want to buy this game for some specific reason, I definitely recommend staying away from it, unless it gets very good reviews. Just remember that this game will cater to a very specific audience. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe for more.